All right, so somebody asked me to do this during the um, Ask Me Anything that I did the other night. They basically were wondering why I never made videos of coding, and I said, well, it's super fucking boring. But some people said that they might still be interested and that I should give it a whirl. So what I'm going to do now is do a small tutorial video of basically what was a request to alphabetize the referee list. Shouldn't be a super long video as that's not like a crazy request or anything. Um, so let's get it done. The first thing that you're going to want to do um, is create a new I'll show you, but then I'm going to use this project. You're going to create a new project in uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. Uh, what you're going to want to do is Visual C++ or Visual uh, C Sharp. That's what I'm most familiar with. So that's what I use. You can use Visual Basic, Visual C++, anything, basically anything that will compile into a class library. And that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to set it up as a class library, uh, not a portable one or anything, just a regular class library. You're going to want to give it a name and hit OK. It'll create everything. Um, and then you're going to want to come into here in the references section. And you're going to want to add uh, assembly C sharp from the FirePro. Um, your main FirePro directory, and then inside that is a FirePro Wrestling W underscore data, and inside that is a managed directory, and the assembly C sharp will be found there. And you're going to want to import the PWGR framework from the same directory as the assembly C sharp. And then, one more thing that you're going to want to do to set up a new pro or a new thing is you're going to want to come up here and you're going to want to use using DG and using Unity Engine and that should allow you to get started real real simply um, you know so anyway so let's get this started here first thing we're going to want to do is create a new method um, so for most of these methods, what you're going to want to do is create uh, public static methods um, because that's what the patcher patches in. It will not patch in um, private method or methods. It will not patch in methods that require an instance. So they need to be public static. Um, void means that it doesn't return anything. Um, if you know C sharp, then there you go. So we'll call this alphabetize refs and it doesn't need any parameters so we've got that all set up um, so to access the referee list in fire pro world you want to access save data or save date save data dot inst which is the the instance of the save data that's currently loaded and then you're gonna want to go to edit referee data and that's the um, so this is a list so you're gonna wanna sort it and then when you sort it you can use um, what are they their link commands or I can't remember what they're called but basically you go X comma Y and then you come out here and you go um, what is it X that equal Man, now I'm forgetting how to do this. Uh, so let's go to my sort rings thing real quick. And we can take a look because I haven't actually sorted a list in a long ass time. So I cannot remember how to do it. There it is. So, and Honestly, it's going to be the exact same code, so let's just cut and paste it. So, here you can see it's x comma y, and then that's the lambda expression thing. And then you've got x comma, and then you've got parameters, because the referee name is stored in the parameters, dot name. 
And then you're going to want to compare to Y, which is the second referee, PRM, parameters, dot name. And so what that'll do is it'll take every referee in the list, it'll compare them all, and sort them by the by the name. And since the name is a string, it will sort it alphabetically. So, honestly, that's all you really need to do to alphabetize the... the, the see, that's, that's the alphabetizing of the rings. It's just one line of code. It's the same thing for the referees. It's just one line, and that'll get it done. Um, if you do this, if you, you know, do this and then run it and you have any, um, matches, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I've still got that cough, I mentioned it on the Ask Me Anything, every once in a while I gotta clear my throat there, um, so, but like I was saying, if you do this and you have any tournaments or leagues or anything like that active, it will change the referee that is going to officiate those. So make sure that you don't have any of those running, um, you know, when you when you do this or when you run it or when you test it or whatever you're going to do. So that's the easy line of code that you need to to actually do it. But how do you get this into the game? Uh, so Mike DG, his framework works with these things called hooks. So you need to write a hook. The hook is always in uh, enclosed in brackets, and it always uh, encloses all of the parameters in parentheses. So the parameters are always target class. And for this one, I, I'm just going to do it at the title. So you want menu title. Uh, target method is going to be awake and that's run every time that it starts up um, and then you got injection location I'm just going to do it at the very beginning of the uh, of the menu awaking so we'll do it at zero injection direction uh, this is important if you're if you need to be very specific about where you're putting um, the code, um, if you're gonna, if you do it at the top at zero and you don't, you just want it at the top, or you know, you don't really care that much, it should be zero and then before, and then inject flags. Uh, don't need any, so we'll just do none, and then group equals, we'll just call this alphabetize refs. And that's going to be um, when you put it into the patcher and it's got that list of features over on the right hand side. Uh, the group they're, they're sorted by groups. So that's going to be the group that it's in. That's going to be what you have to have checked off. Um, and then you can come up here to group descriptions and you can give them nice descriptions. So group description and we'll do this, and then description equals um, allows or alphabetize it the referee list. Uh, then you need group equals alphabetize refs, and then you can give it a name so that you can put a space in it or whatever. Uh, name. That's what I need. Name equals betas refs. So that's all you need to do um, to get something like this up and in the game. Um, like I said, it should be real simple stuff. Alphabetize rings. I think I did see a menu title awake. Same. It's going to do it in the same spot that it alphabetizes the rings. So. Um, anyway, so after you've got all the code in, um, before you build it, oh, sh I should have mentioned this first. So, before you even start coding, you want to come into the properties thing of your project and change it to .NET Framework 2.0. If you use .NET Framework, any other one, you will cause yourself a ton of headaches and it will not be worth it for you. So make sure if you're going to start trying to code stuff to come in here and change it to .NET Framework 2.0. Um, and then once you have done all of that, you can go ahead and build. 
and it will do its thing here. So now that that's built, you can go, uh, let's see, once it's built, uh, display capture, display one, yeah, sure. All right, so now you should be able to get my actual screen so you can see what I'm doing. So you're going to want to come in to your projects or wherever you have it saved. Mine is hot barred, so I'm just going to go here. But it's going to be in the bin debug folder of whatever your project is called. And then you're going to copy it into the manage directory, which is going to be in your main Fire Pro World directory. Um, into your Fire Pro Wrestling W underscore data and then managed and you're gonna paste it there and since I already have a carlzilla.dll it's going to uh, need to overwrite it and that's fine then you're gonna wanna go and patch and the new feature should be there when we do this uh, my patch is kind of a mess I have a lot of things that I either <laughs> have been testing or haven't released or whatever so then there see alphabetize refs it's right there so you just check it off patch fire pro world and then when we load up fire pro world um, and we go to start a match the referees should be alphabetized if we did everything correctly and um, just like any other alphabetization once you do this um, it will not I, you can't revert it, so make sure that you actually want this done. And, uh, yeah, I have a lot of mod windows that open up, so... Alright, so we don't need that. Wait for this to do its thing. And we'll start up a match, and we'll check the referees. And if you look now, see, Mr. Judgment will always be at the top because he's default, and so he's not affected by the save data thing. But all of the... Now, if you look, all of the non... default referees are not in an alphabetical order, and you're good to go. So that's all you got to do to alphabetize the referees in Fire Pro. If you wanted to do it from scratch... Um, you know, obviously, since I just added that to the mod suite, it will be in the next mod suite update. But if you wanted to try doing it yourself, um, you know, it's a good way to kind of familiar to familiarize yourself with the process and, um, you know, do something cool, I guess. Anyway, so that's it for this. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know and I can make more. If not, that's fine, because I didn't expect anybody to enjoy it if you watch the Ask Me Any anything anyway so you know just let me know and um yeah